this will be my first uh, setting it up. I haven't taken it out. I mean, I, I've taken it out of the box, but I haven't taken the parts out and set up anything. I did read the instructions real quick. Um, so I'm going to follow them as best as I can. They say it takes about five minutes to set up and uh, there's about 15 steps in the instructions. So we'll see how long it takes me. I'm going to set most of it up in here and then the blades I'll put on outside um, when it's set up out there. So let me get the camera ready and then we'll start, start uh, putting it together. And they say to put the plastic stake or the spikes or into this and these will go into the ground. I think it would be neat if they would maybe sell as an option or accessories um, instead of these plastic pieces that go in and then you stick them in the ground maybe ones some that go in that are flat um, say if you're on a hard hard surface or uh, asphalt or something um, that just so that you know it sits flat on the ground maybe a hole in it that you can put a, a spike or a stake through. to turbine unit or actually these appear to go in and they are at an angle you can tell that and then next these just slide into here it's 
just like that. Bend this. Let's see if we can set this up like that. All right. I almost think it'd be nice if there was a, a cotter or some sort of pin that would go through to hold these in so that I could pick it up without them sliding out. Um, all right. Next, they say to install this onto this. pin in here just like that and uh, you can tell my the vehicle that I'm in here it's not level so I think that's why it's tilting back that way I'm leaning to the side all right we've got that in extension cable uh, they I did skip a step it looks like we need to add this where is the uh, goes through I suppose this will help a little bit keeping it all the legs together. Definitely uh, easier to assemble this inside, um, especially if there were some extreme weather conditions you were dealing with. I'll just, if you're doing this outside, it might not be easy with if you had gloves on or if it's really windy. All right, extension cable to the connection. So next we will use the adapter. They say an extension cable, I'm not sure. Doesn't look.
So we have this adapter um, that will connect up to a uh, one of the uh, batteries that we want to charge. Uh, the next few steps just talk about placing it outside or placing it on the ground uh, using the uh, guy lines to secure it. So I'll do that once we get outside. Um, and then it looks like the last thing we'll do is attach the blades to it and hook up whatever I'm going to charge. So I'm going to take this outside, set it up, and use the guy lines. They do give us, let's see, some stakes. Three stakes for the three guy lines. So I'm going to go set this up outside and readjust the camera and let's get it charged. Let's get it working and see how it charges. All right, the last step is to connect these to the, the solar generator. And they say there's only one way you can put these in. Let's see if that's true. Um, they do have some grooves. Okay, and then this will just screw right on. Okay, well it works. Uh, this is just a, my first impression. It's not really a review video. Um, just my first time using it. Uh, works, seems to work great. And what my eventually will be doing, my plan, is to have a mount up on this back corner of the vehicle, the ambulance, right up in this corner I'm going to make a mount where I can set it up there temporarily. I wouldn't have it up there while I was driving at all, but if I set up a camp somewhere um, where I'll be there for a little bit of while, um, I'll put that up there where it gets better air and uh, then run the, the wire. And the, the cable that I'm using or the wire that I'm using right now, it uh, from the red line there, I don't know if you can see it, uh, is just a cable that I had and I've got it hooked up to this battery, which, let's see, it's almost all fully charged already, but um, it's hooked up to this and so I'll, I'll have this on the roof when I'm parked somewhere for a while. I'll just have to figure out how to mount it where I won't have to use the guy lines. Um, just attaching the feet to the roof pretty solid uh, so it doesn't blow off or anything. And then run a wire or, or run an extension cord from it to the battery bank and have the battery bank inside. I did hook it up to the Midland that uh, this guy and it charges it if it's if the uh, wind speeds high enough if this thing is really humming along it starts charging it so of course as soon as it slows down it stops charging it 
so I'm not sure how that that will work very well for that um, but I like it and uh, seems to be pretty good good windmill good wind generator so I'm gonna let it run for a while I'll probably take it down um, since I am actually out here uh, until 3 a.m. so I'll take it down before it gets dark and you can see over there they've got a couple wind generators that have just grown I mean they've been working overtime with this breeze lately um, but I, I think this is a good addition and I'll talk more about it later in a review some things maybe that I would change on it but for now I'm happy with it